Hey everyone, it's Ryan Quintel, and you're watching another Quintel Designs tutorial. Today, I figured we would make a celebrity meme t-shirt. These are pretty popular all over Twitter and the internet today. And recently, with the slew of Charlie Sheen t-shirts that you see all over the internet, like this one on his website, where it says winning um, is quite popular now, and people are jamming those out and trying to make a quick buck off them. So I'm going to teach you how to make it. It's really, really easy. And uh, keep in mind that all the images we're going to pull are probably copywritten and you can't actually sell these or use them or reproduce them. This is simply to teach you the technique uh, so maybe you can make one of your friends or something and pester them with it. So let's open up Illustrator and get started. First in Illustrator, we're going to create a print-ready document. So go ahead and create a new document with Command N. And we're going to do 10 inches by 10 inches. That's pretty standard. Um, we're going to make sure that we're in CMYK. You don't need to align to pixel grid. This is a print job. Um, and your raster effects are fine. So let's just call this Tiger Blood, which I'm sure Mr. Sheen would approve of just as much as winning. Your next step's pretty easy. Just do a Google image search for Charlie Sheen or whatever celebrity you've decided to pester. And you can find a simple image. Obviously, the simpler, the better uh, with some of these. And I would even recommend looking for something on the larger end of the spectrum. This looks pretty good. Make sure you get the full size of this image. And then go ahead and copy it. Now, over in Adobe Illustrator, you're just going to paste it in. This is a pretty simple function. You've probably used it a lot of times before. We're going to live trace him. And that effect is already pretty good. If you want and you're seeing some areas get kind of blotched out, you can increase the threshold. That'll add to the darkness of the picture, as you can see. Or you can decrease the threshold to see more of the highlights. And you know what? Uh, that's a little weird. His mouth is looking weird there, so we'll go to, say, 116. All right, that's pretty good. So this is pretty good, but Charlie's missing the top of his head, so we're going to use the pen tool. Zoom in and kind of just use how his hair looks for here uh, for reference. And go ahead and kind of draw, and you can hear me clicking like mad with the pen tool. Give him a little part here. There's his spare hair. It's going a little nuts. That's more than fine, and we're just going to go ahead and block that off. Now, Live Trace doesn't actually create Illustrator paths. It's kind of editing the image in real time. So you're going to want to expand that. And you can see we have our white and our black. And this up here, we can turn black too. So you can see we have a pretty decent looking Charlie Sheen. Now, a lot of the images you get on the internet aren't going to be perfect. Um, so you're going to have to decide sort of what's keepable and what's not. Right here, if we delete the white, it's going to delete all the way inside his face. So we need to make a line only path that kind of comes down, goes like that. We'll tap V on the keyboard to unselect it and then P to reselect the pen tool. We're also going to draw the rest of his ear here like this. And you want to make sure that these lines overlap the lines that are already in existence um, in the piece. Even make it a little bit bigger. Now what you can do is select everything here and divide it. That's over on the Pathfinder. Come and hit the Divide command. And if you can't find the Pathfinder, just go to Window, and Pathfinder is right there on the list for you. So it looks like Shift-Command-F9 if you need, uh, need to grab it that way. Now that we've divided it, you can see the lines I drew are gone, but if you hit Command Y and look at the outline view, there it is, it's still cut up for us. So now we can safely delete this chunk of white over here and all around his face, so the white remains in Charlie's face, and we have a very complete, very happy looking Charlie Sheen. Let's take all of our black as well, and we're going to unite that, uh, so the piece of his hair is one with a picture. Now that you've got your Charlie Sheen, 
You can just shrink them down, give them a cool little saying. Let's go. Tiger blood. Font. There's so many fonts to choose from. Uh, let's do. Let's see here. I think this one might be pretty good. <laughs> we'll color that red. And there you go, a pretty basic Charlie Sheen t-shirt. Now really quickly, if you want to do this on black, um, obviously throw up a dark background so you can see what you're doing it on. And you'll also notice that we lose a lot of Charlie. So we're going to select our entire object here. Do a command C and a command F to make an exact copy in the exact place. We're going to unite the whole thing in white and then we're just going to add, click and drag over that white to make a white stroke and bump that up to say 10, round off the edges and then you can put that in back of it either by dragging in the layers. I use command left bracket and you can see you can have a nice little outline there. Um, and do the same for the tiger blood but that should be print ready if you need to do a white backdrop on your tiger blood again command C command F and the tiger blood underneath should be white um, if you're supplying this to a printer remember to use spot colors and remember to use CMYK like we started with but you are ready to go knock the socks off the world with your own internet meme t-shirt I hope you enjoyed it Keep designing.